if you want to create an iPhone mockup, you can use an iPhone template or create your own phone case mockup in Photoshop. The second option may sound complicated, but it gives you more flexibility. My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is how to create phone case mockups in Photoshop on Envato Touch Plus. Open your image in Photoshop. Use the pen tool in the path mode to select the outline of the phone case. Don't forget to select the elements inside the outline that should not be a part of the case as well. Press Ctrl Enter to create a selection. Then go to Select, Refine Edge. Check Smart Radius and Increase Radius to make the edge of selection smooth. Press OK. Create a new layer. Fill it with 50% gray and name it Shape. Use the same selection and go to the background layer. Press Ctrl J to copy the outline of the case. Drag it over the shape layer. Use the Lasso tool to select the elements that are not a default part of the case. Then go to Edit, Fill and use Content Aware Fill. Repeat the process for all elements like this. Duplicate the layer with Ctrl J and hide the copy. Double-click the original and adjust the Blend Diff settings. Drag the upper white marker to the left to remove bright parts of the case. Use Alt key to split the marker and create a smoother transition. Set the Blend mode to Multiply and name the layer Shadow. Duplicate the hidden copy and make it visible. Repeat the process, this time leaving more mid-tones between black and white. Set the Blend mode to Soft Light and name the layer Midtone. Repeat the process, this time setting the blend mode to screen and dragging the black marker to the right to remove the dark parts of the case. Lower the opacity to make the effect subtler and name the layer Shine. Make the last copy visible without copying it. This will be the last one. Set its mode to Linear Dodge and drag the black marker far to the right to leave only the brightest parts. Name this layer Highlight. The shading is done. Now we need to prepare the place for the design. Select the Shape layer and use the Rectangle tool in Shape mode. Hold Shift key to draw a perfect square. Double-click the square layer and check Pattern Overlay. Select a pattern that will make it easy to see the perspective of the case. Then press OK, right-click and select Rasterize Layer Style. Then again right-click and select Convert to Smart Object. Use the free Transform tool to rotate and resize the pattern to fit the perspective of the case. Hold Ctrl key and drag the corners to make the sides of the square parallel to the sides of the case. When you're done, press Enter. Hold Alt key and click the line between this layer and shape layer to create a clipping mask. Name this layer Design. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Make the pattern as blurry as the blurriest of the fingers in the photo. Then paint on the layer mask with grey to remove the blur from the areas close to sharp fingers. This will add more depth to the photo. Select the background layer and add a solid color layer. Pick bright red and set the blend mode to soft light. Fill the layer mask with black and then paint with white using a soft brush to mark the shadows that should be colored by the reflection of the case. Name this layer Reflected Light and hide it. Finally, it's time to add the actual design. Double-click the Design layer and go to File, Place to add your design. Resize it, save the file and close it to come back to the mockup file. Your design will be automatically modified the way you modified the square before. Now all you need is to adjust the opacity of the shading layers and pick a color for the reflected light layer. There's no perfect recipe for the values you should use. They will depend on the material of the case. For example, plastic will have medium shadows and bright highlights, rubber will have bright shadows and dark highlights, and metal will have contrasting shadows and highlights. Now you know how to create phone case mockups in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.